An 83-year-old man has been suffering from an embolism of the circumflex branch of the left coronary artery. This condition is most likely to cause ischemia in which of the following areas of the heart. So here we have embolism of the circumflex branch of the left coronary artery. Let's look here at the diagram. This is the left coronary artery divides into a circumflex branch and into anterior interventricular or left anterior descending artery. Let's look at the options. Anterior part of the left ventricle. As you can see here that the anterior part of the left ventricle forms a short strip to the left side of the anterior interventricular groove and it is supplied by ventricular branches. These are ventricular branches from the LAD, left anterior descending artery, and not from the circumflex branch. The anterior interventricular region, option B, the uh, interventricular septum is supplied by interventricular branches from the anterior interventricular artery. These supply the anterior two-thirds of the interventricular septum, and it is also supplied by the septal branches from the posterior interventricular artery. But here we are asked about anterior interventricular region. So the anterior interventricular region is supplied only by the left anterior descending artery. The posterior interventricular region is usually supplied by branches from the posterior interventricular artery, which is in most of the cases, it is a branch of the right coronary artery. In cases of right dominance or co-dominance, it's a branch of the right coronary artery. Rarely, it is a branch of the left coronary artery, and in this case, it will be a continuation of the circumflex branch of the left coronary artery. But as you can see here, the question is asking about most likely to cause ischemia, most likely. So there is a possibility, but let's see the other options. In option D, Posterior part of the left ventricle, yes, the posterior part of the left ventricle is supplied by ventricular branches from the circumflex branch of the left coronary artery. It supplies the ventricular branches. It, actually, the circumflex branch, it passes around the heart, around the obtuse margin of the heart. It supplies the obtuse marginal artery, which supplies the lateral side of the left ventricle and then goes on to the inferior surface of the heart to supply the uh, posterior part of the left ventricle, which is located on the inferior surface of the heart, the diaphragmatic surface of the heart. So this is a correct option. Now let's look at the last option, anterior part of the right ventricle. This is the region of the right ventricle, and as you can see that the anterior part of the right ventricle is supplied by these ventricular branches which come from the right coronary artery or from the marginal branch of the right coronary artery and it is not related to the circumflex of the left coronary artery. So the correct answer here is the posterior part of the left ventricle.